Kyle, Arthur's brother, had been working on the railway for a week. He did work with ease, which impressed the three big engines. One evening, Kyle and Arthur stayed at Tidmouth. The engines were all eager to hear how Kyle made his way to the island. It must have been scary, getting all the way from your railway to that yard, said James. Indeed, put in Gordon. An engine such as yourself, Kyle, has a lot of courage and sagacity. Arthur looked curious. You do know that Kyle was taken there by a diesel. Kyle agreed, but secretly liked the sudden attention from the bigger engines. Even so, Kyle made it here in one piece. <laughs> no diesel could stop him. I was the one that brought him here. Kyle needed my help. Kyle's ego got the better of him. Well, you sort of helped. Arthur glared at Kyle. I mean, yes, you found me and all, but I was already planning to get here anyways. I could have done it easily without you, Arthur. Arthur's face changed from annoyance to hurt. He then decided to back into the shed. You're a credit to the railway, Kyle. We need more engines like you here. Yes, more engines with a great story to tell and know how to do their work properly. Kyle smiled, but even though he felt good for himself, he felt bad for Arthur. It's alright, he thought to himself. He'll, he'll know I'm only joking. He, he always knows. <laughs> Kyle woke up the next morning, Arthur had already left. Oh well, best get on with my work, he thought. Kyle left for the docks. Arthur arrived at Wellsworth with a goods train. Edward was there, but before he said hello, you saw Arthur wasn't looking very cheerful. What's the matter, Arthur? Edward asked kindly. Arthur looked at Edward. Ever since I saved Kyle, all the big engines keep on talking about how Kyle saved himself, and that he got here all on his own. Even Kyle is playing along with it. Don't you worry, you know how those big engines can be sometimes. Oliver rolled up. He had overheard their conversation. I remember when I first arrived here. They all treated me like some king, even though I got here by pure luck and the fact that Douglas was there to save me. It soon got the better of me after I fell into that turntable. Just then, Kyle passed through with a freight train. He started a red signal. Oh, hey, Arthur. Why did you leave so early this morning? Kyle, I think you should try and stay away from the big engines. What? Why would I? They're really kind and always praise me. They make me feel special. They only say those things to boost your ego. Then when they get the chance, they might trick you. It's true, Kyle. They did the same to me when I first arrived here. Ha! <laughs> You're both talking nonsense. Stop worrying so much, Arthur. Kyle's signal went green and he left. See what I mean? I'm sure that Kyle will come to realize that the big engines aren't what he thinks they are. I hope it's soon. Kyle can be a reckless engine and could easily get into trouble. Arthur was right. Something did happen to the new reckless engine, but that's another story.